Welcome to Hook and Look Splash, a splash of angling information with an underwater point of view. This week's splash provides some insight as to one of the reasons smallmouth bass are drawn to the sand grass in the Great Lakes. That the chartreuse sexy shad. We're using the chartreuse out here. The water color is it's a little milkier. Right. And I know there's perch out here, mm -hmm. and just to give it that little more yellowy look to it. Right. But it's a good that, combination. That is. And this one has rattles. Right, right. We, have a, we, have, we also have a silent version of that, but the rattling's working. We keep throwing in. Right. My position at Strike King, I've been fortunate enough to film a few television shows here and there, and uh, getting to come up and do the Hook and Look show has really been cool because at one point in the day, Kim and Danny both can get in the water. So for, for me as a, as a guest on the show, to see the host and the camera guy get in the water, do the dive deal, being able to talk to them while they're underneath the water, telling you what they're seeing, and really getting a, a, a better feel for what we're fishing and what's going on. That's absolutely awesome. It's such a unique perspective in a fishing show that we've not seen. We've got two big smallmouth right in front of us right now. They're just beautiful actors. They're sitting right in front of Danny's camera. Pretty incredible. I, I wish you could see it. I wish everybody could experience this. This is awesome. So those fish are basically just roaming, looking for food and looking for a comfortable spot like you talked about. That's it. The fish are just here around this sand grass. Are you seeing patches of grass or is it uh, small patches, big patches, or just a, uh, you know, a covering? It's mostly a carpet. A carpet of sand grass. You get the eel grass. But I'm not seeing any really good Upon closer investigation, we discovered there's more than just the sand grass that draws the smallmouth to this specific area, and that key attraction lives in these three inch wide holes. Over the course of the past 20 years, round gobies have become a mainstay in the diet of Great Lakes smallmouth and will burrow their residence in the soft marl bottom of Lake St. Clair. I like to refer to these little caverns as goby adobes. Some areas of the lake bed actually resemble Swiss cheese from the sheer multitude of dwellings. The XD dives real quick and gets to the bottom. Quick. It does. It is a, a, a deep planing or a quick planing bill, we call it. Good one. Got it? Ooh, that's a good one. That is a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> I just love that. That's awesome. I don't like that XD in his mouth, does he? No. There he is. <laughs> It come out of his mouth and into his side. Yeah, he didn't like that at all. To view additional Splash podcasts, simply visit hookandlook.com.